early MGP Roadster owners, gentlemen, start your engines. We're looking at our heritage upholstery offering for the early MGBs. I'm just going to start with a, an overview of our interior kit and then we'll look at it in closer detail. I can tell you that without a doubt we have the very best MGB kit in the world, second to none. And with many of our other models, competitors can sometimes, you know, do well, get, get close. It, it's not even close with this one. We're miles ahead of anybody. There's nobody in the world that's uh, making a kit as, as well developed as this. Uh, we typically only do the early cars, GT and Roadster. Um, they're the most valuable, most desirable, and in my opinion, the best looking. We don't, we don't um, bother with the later style. There's lots of people doing that, um, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't really interest us here at Heritage. But uh, we have a lot of exclusives that nobody else is doing for the MG, um, MGBs. And we'll look at some of those as we detail it. Um, as with a lot of things, a, a thing that really separates our products from anybody else's is the, is the ingredients, the, the correct um, made in England vinyl that we import. All the panel work is made out of that. Very high quality leather. As you can see, we'll take a look, closer look at those seats, but the leather we use for the MGB is exactly the same we use in, in our Jaguar business and, and the other higher end cars. It's a very expensive leather. We, uh, we buy it in Europe, we air freight it in. We pay, pay maybe three times the price that some of our competitors pay for the cheap Brazilian hides and it shows in the finished product. Another great advantage of Heritage that you won't find in too many shops and manufacturers is this beautiful and expensive Gerber cutting machine. It's a CAD controlled uh, DXF files for any of you guys that are interested. The bed is 20 feet long, 7 feet wide. We pull up our digitized patterns that are digitized on this on this digitizing table and we roll out the vinyl, press the button and the whole interior for the MGB is cut in about 43 seconds. Now what that does is ensure accuracy every time and allows us to tweak and develop our patterns over the years to perfection. You can see some of the pieces here. We have the kiss cut pieces for the top of the doors, bottom of the door, long pieces for the dash, piping, A post, B post, rear close out panel, uh, vinyl for the for the backs of the seats and so on. So the entire kit is cut out using this machine. We also use this machine to cut the panel board. We use a very high quality panel board. We'll look at that closer when we look at the panels. And uh, it's uh, water resistant, long lasting, much better than the original stuff that the factory used. <clears throat> so there we go, uh, starting with an overview. And uh, we'll look at things in closer detail here as we go. Okay, we'll start with a close look at the carpet set here. As you uh, guys, as your owners will know, those who know your stuff, uh, MGBs originally came with rubber mats on the majority of the floor and a small amount of carpet was used. Uh, we offer uh, our carpet set that way uh, if you want it that way. But a lot of customers choose to upgrade and go with the full carpet throughout. This customer in this particular time has gone with that option arguably a better look not original but a better look um, we we're lucky enough over the years to develop all our pants to some very good original pieces uh, here's here's one example dead dead stock original factory gearbox and uh, rear bulkhead cover um, and um, one thing that the factory had that um, none of us uh, well certainly not available for the Wilton wool carpet it is the the molded um, the molded underfelt uh, we have a way around that that will show you uh, how we deal with that with our kit 
I'm going to look at some of the details here, the lifted dot leather strap and uh, the carpet is just kind of crudely glued back around the underfelt itself. The same with this here, this portion is kind of molded, fits the uh, body and then, the, uh, then it has the snaps that we supply in our kit, not shown here, but we do supply the hardware to affix these carpet pieces. Uh, and like I said, this customer chose a full carpet set, so we have the underfelt pieces for the main carpets front and rear. <coughs> we have um, uh, the pieces that replace the rubber pieces, so there's the sill Oh, sorry, inner rocker covers um, and uh, other miscellaneous pieces. That piece is sewn. We have the heel pad. Wheel arches were always also originally molded. Uh, this is a way around to, to ensure that these fit on. It's, it's impossible to get it on with one piece without puckers. So we have this uh, seam. Nice uh, uh, OE style heel pad and all the listings that are required sewn in. As you can see here now the things that really separate us this we supply fully uh, assembled to the uh, underfelt and we deliberately leave this corner open this allows the installer to glue this into shape around the irregular shape and then to, to fix the carpet on top of it so this this portion of the carpet is is appropriately appropriately oversized and gets trimmed back once that's uh, installed so this this section here is is oversized and how we handle the gearbox cover is the we, we glue back the uh, the pieces as they were uh, around the uh, handbrake and we attached and we of course uh, glue back as I showed you on the original uh, at the front leather new leather strap with the, even the correct colored rivets just like the factory with the lifted dot. so all that is exactly as original now we deliberately do not attach the rest of the carpet to the underfelt that allows the installer to push this forward and work on getting this glued onto the irregular shape that is around the shift dome now in addition to this felt we found that it works to build up that shape underneath the felt prior to this being glued on to smooth out the irregular shape so it becomes a little easier to get this carpet to fit on the top and uh, if you're not following that now we, can, we, we offer unlimited tech support so we can certainly walk you through that, uh, that, that uh, process and with that we get great results that you can see uh, on our pictures on the on the web page so that's how we handle those two difficult pieces but I think the thing I'm most proud of in, in our offering here for at Heritage and uh, this is this is a lot of people are not supplying their carpet sets in fact I don't know anybody else that's supplying their carpet sets with this panel board fully trimmed to the panels as they were originally so we don't supply just a piece of carpet we supply the complete panel board fully uh, CNC cut and um, covered with the in this particular case the Wilson wool carpet this customer chose to go with the black carpet with the red and cream on old English white very attractive color combination very tasteful and has stuck with the original cappings cockpit combing as we call it basically the top half of the car is all in black as original so I think that is a good overview of our carpet set and uh, we'll now take a closer look at some of the panels. Okay I'll just show you the fixing hardware for the carpets. We have the original prongs that poke through, back plate, male and female, all supplied with our carpet set. And obviously it goes without saying that this hasn't gone to the shipping department for final inspection and clean off, drag in, so um, excuse the, the dust that uh, accumulates on it that's typical at here at our uh, factory as we manufacture things very hard to keep it absolutely clean 
So, we'll switch now to the panel set. I We call this our Perfectionist Panel Kit. It includes all brand new fully upholstered panels to replace all the originals. There's no reusing of the old panels. Because as you can see, we've got the B post panels. Let's look at that one. With the original pipe in stitch, two stitch lines and the pipe in. This this is cut, this vinyl is what we call kiss cut on our computer and it gives us apps gives the guys absolute accuracy for assembly. And you can see our panel work looks as nice on the back as it does on the front. The big close out panel at the uh, at the bulkhead at the rear. Um, the small panel right on the front around the radio. Uh, kick panels at, at the front again all brand new. Take a closer look at the door panel here again stitched at the top with the pipe in and beautifully finished on the back with some extra staples for uh, longevity. So that's the basic panels and then in our kit you would get these pieces as rectangles as shape, uh, appropriately the right size but not covered under these substrates which which we uh, which you see here so in other words we supply our kit with the vinyl pieces and the piping pieces and then you or your installer installs it onto all your original cappings front dash rear cowl upper cappings and so on however many of our customers choose to have us cover those pieces and uh, it's not included in the kit price, but it, it, the service is available. We have flat rates on this. We know how long it takes. And uh, so there's no unknowns as far as cost. And with that, you can send us these components uh, along with your seats if you choose. And we can install all that here at Heritage. And you can see these subs this car was in very good original condition. These substrates, hardwoods, and uh, survived very well. And and recovered beautifully. Uh, one of the foams needed some repair, but for the most part, it was in good condition. Originally black from the factory, and you can notice the factory put the black piping on the front dash, and then the cream piping throughout the cap upper door cappings and the rear cowl. And then the piece of vinyl for the dash that gets glued onto the dash itself. Now, if you wish, although it's not original, we can offer this in color match, so you could have it red, or blue or whatever you want uh, if you if you uh, are making something a little more custom and you like that look then we can certainly accommodate you so I think that's a pretty good overview um, I think the only thing I didn't show is the chrome screws and washers we have the correct Phillips style chrome screws and the cup washers that we supply uh, with this uh, kit so that you can install all your panels with brand new hardware I think that's, uh, again, a pretty good overview for the panels, and we'll now look at the seats. Okay, now we're looking at our seats. Uh, beautiful, high-quality leather, the correct grain and colors for the piping. Um, we use a very high-quality scrim foam. That's how we get these dead, plate, dead straight pleats that we're famous for here at Heritage. Beautifully top-stitched on the side here, as it was originally. So uh, we'll pull that seat a little closer and we'll look at some of the details underneath. Uh, the backrest uh, is done with a piece of polyfoam. That's how the factory did it. We get great results, as you can see. And as, as with the factory, molded urethane foam for the cushion portion of the seat. So um, now, of course, in our kit, you buy the foams, you buy the covers. And if you choose, you can buy the labor for us to trim, re-trim your seats here in-house. The seat frames are light and very easy to send anywhere in the world, frankly. We, we've, had a, we've had seat frames sent from all over the world. Ecuador, Norway, Brazil, Japan, Australia, Chile, and I think I remember selling uh, some HEMG carpet to a guy in India, um, in Delhi. Great, uh, great gentleman, and um, wrote us a ni nice little uh, email thanking us for, for our high quality carpet set. So MGBs, they're everywhere in the world. Um, so we're looking at the back backrest here. 
Uh, again, very high quality leather. We finished the bottoms exactly as the factory did. It's a kind of a crude setup. They just put these clips, you know, kind of visible. That's how they did it. And we have vinyl on the back, carpet on the bottom half. This customer, because of this color combination, uh, want the, wants the seats red, so we did the carpet on the back end, the red, to match the rest of the seats. Instead of the contrast that it would be, it's, uh, you know, with this combination, it's going to be a much better look. So, again, attention to the detail, finish and everything exactly as the factory did. And same with the cushion portion of the seat. You can see brand new seat diaphragm, which is the rubber trampoline that holds up the uh, cushion uh, pad inside. And then the pad itself with the jute burlap on the bottom as it was at the factory. And so, again, all the details are correct with those clips around the tubular frame. Again, all we need is you to send us the tubular frames and everything else is brand new, uh, including the panel board that goes on the back here. Um, we have that available as a brand new piece and recommend it uh, as it uh, is often in bad condition. So I think that's it. Um, pretty good overview here of, of our work on the MGB at Heritage. I, I um, won't reshoot this for the MG uh, GT, great, great looking car, and we also offer that kit. Um, this video will serve as a, as a demonstration for both cars. And um, I do have, uh, in production we do have a, uh, a, a C and MGC, which is a slight variation, so we will film, film that in a separate episode. And uh, there we go, I hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to hearing from you. Okay, MGB Roadster, early style. I uh, rear seat cushion, or rear, um, yeah, rear seat cushion. What else can you say? Uh, I, I believe this was an option. Uh, it wasn't standard with all MGB roasters, but the rear deck that is covered in carpet um, could have cushion for occasional use. I don't know who'd be brave enough to sit in the back, but it's uh, not an easy piece to make look good. Uh, we had a factory original, we took the pattern off. It uh, didn't look that great either. Uh, the reason is because there's no subframe to it. It's just a piece of foam covered. So it's as good as it gets. It's an inherent, inherently um, soft piece that, uh, you know, folds and so on. With that, because of, the, because of the lack of structure, you can never get the real nice tight, tight look that we see in our front seats, for instance. Anyway, uh, there's quite a lot of work that goes into this, so it's all carefully top stitch. It has snaps uh, to hold it down, um, and we provide those for lifter dot snaps. And you can see it's pleated, and uh, there you go. Nice addition to any MDB. Take two, as they say in Hollywood. Forgot to mention this. We uh, glass bead and paint the frames. We don't send dirty frames back. We never get involved with the track runners, but this is necessary. We don't want to be dealing with dirt and getting contaminated. Um, brand new diaphragm that we supply and the molded foam. Uh, we also use uh, the uh, C-clips here and uh, they're supplied as new, as new pieces. And there's the final result. So it's a molded cushion foam and then the, we also have the padded uh, backrest foam as well. MGC. Owners, gentlemen, start your engines. We're looking at Heritage offering for the MGC Mark II. Here, featured in a beautiful biscuit. It's our number one color. It goes fantastic with red, green, primrose, blues, you name it. It's a, it's a great color combination. It's going into a nice primrose car. Customer went with a black pipe in and uh, a black carpet set, which he's already purchased. So we're just showing here our panels and the uh, finished seats for the uh, C-Type, uh, MGC, as you can see they turned out beautifully. And uh, you can see our world famous dead straight pleats, beautifully top stitched. We'll look at the seats a little closer. Look at the panels here, they're all cut on the CAD machine for accuracy finished beautifully at the back, staple for longevity. 
and uh, our guys even autographed them. So we got uh, door panels, rear petrol, or close out panel for the back, kick panels, B post panels, again with the piping, dead straight, beautiful. And uh, the new door panels, of course. Uh, the cabbings, uh, the big cover for the for the one that's on the rear cowl, the upper dash capping, uh, dash cover, and the door capping covers are all supplied uh, as vinyl here. You can send those pieces to us to be recovered if you wish. We'll just drag the seat a little further forward. It's uh, assembled at the moment for the fo fo photographs here, but uh, gets disassembled for shipping, of course. And just see how beautifully this turned out. the headrest. It's cost 1969, 68, 69, I think it's six, yeah, um, was the only year this headrest was, was used. And then they went to the uh, other style headrest, which incidentally is exactly the same as many British cars, including Jaguar E-Type, uh, for the later MGs. You can see a combination of leather and vinyl, just like the factory, so where you see they use leather and where, where you can get away with it, you use vinyl. And there's a nice top stitch here. MG did that on everything. Um, including all the A-series a stuff. And of course the backs of vinyl. Same with the headrest, leather on the front, vinyl on the back. Vinyl skirt, leather top. So everywhere that the, the counts is leather. And uh, you can see the results. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm sure the customer's going to be very happy with this. So I get asked all the time, Hey Mr. Heritage, how do you get your fleet so dead straight? And I say, you have to have a $100,000 computer cutter machine like this. And that's how we do it. This is the sew foam inside the seats. This is BJ8. You see how the machine is cut in the slits in the sew foam. Not all the way through only halfway through very difficult to do and that makes our fleets absolutely straight no hand cutting that's the secret right there another reason that separates heritage from the rest another early mgb just completed here at heritage just want to show you this attractive cut color combination the black with the red piping as original and of course the seats they turn out beautifully um, all the details of the seats are uh, exactly as original. Flutes, dead straight hallmark of heritage. Um, and of course, high quality leather. Uh, there's the beautifully top stitch piece. Carpet on the back, of course, these haven't been cleaned for shipping yet. And the original style clips, albeit a crude way of finishing the bottom of the seats. That's how they were done. That's how we do them. There we go there. New seat diaphragms, new foams, and the results, as you can see, are perfect. And the customer should be very pleased.